Hi, everyone. This is Jupiter Jim from jupitergym.com. I'm at my live active blog, Jupiter Jim's marketing team. And on my blog, I'm at a post. I'm in the, the view I'm at is a single post per page. So we have one post called Quick Easy Way to Create Placeholder Images for WordPress and Thesis Theme Sites and Blogs, which is a really cool blog post. And I'm going to show you how to edit this blog post in full screen mode. So this is what it looks like single post per page and now what I'm going to do is we're going to go to my demonstration blog where I have essentially duplicated the exact same blog post and I'm going to show you how to edit this blog post using full screen mode it's really 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 easy but most people just don't know that they have that option first thing I'm going to do click on this tab here and that brings me to the dashboard of Jupiter Jim's marketing team. Now I'd like to go down here and just point out that I'm using WordPress version 3.2.1 and for my demonstration blog and my live active blog I happen to be using WordPress thesis theme version 1.8.2. You do not need to be using any version of the thesis theme or any particular theme in order to follow along with this free video tutorial. You do need to have at least a 3.0 version of WordPress. Okay, so let's click, just click right here, go to blog posts. Okay, here's the blog post I want to edit. Click there. And as you can see, as we scroll up and down, it's a little crowded. That yellow space is where the video goes. Um, okay, so I want to edit this in full screen mode. Before I do that, I want to show you there is a little um, icon here in the toolbar. It's called the Show Hide Kitchen Sink icon. If you click on that, you get one row of tools to edit the text. If you click again, you get two rows of tools. Now, we can also edit the same text and post in HTML mode if you're good at HTML. Okay, and you can see that there's no yellow there for the video. Okay, so back to visual editor here. And then this is the little icon that you want to mouse over. It says toggle full screen mode. Just click on that. Now, you can see here when I move up, the toolbar shows up. When I stop moving the mouse, that toolbar just disappears, which I guess is supposed to make things easier. Okay, so if I want to edit this post, it says website, and I'm just going to type in for all to see. And, um, or if I want to click on that and make that bold, I can click bold here. If I want to edit this exact same blog post in HTML mode, move this back up here, click on HTML, and you can see it's just all HTML code for that blog post. Once again, the toolbars disappear at the top, just move the mouse up, it goes back, and you have fewer options with HTML. When you're in visual mode, you still you have more options, but still not as many as when we clicked on that kitchen sink option a second ago when we were not in full screen mode. After you make the change, Remember, please click update to save your changes. Get in the habit of doing that. And when you're done, just click on exit, full screen mode right there. Just click there. And we are essentially done. Now, you do want to click update again, even though we just clicked it in full screen mode. And the reason for that, I will show you. If you click away from this page, watch what happens. I'm going to click on home in the dashboard, and you get this little pop-up, which is a pain in the neck. The changes you made will be lost if you navigate away from this page. Are you sure you want to leave this page? I'm going to say no. Stay on this page. I'm going to go back and update again. Okay, and so to avoid that happening, I'm going to show you one more time. Quick review, full screen mode, you make a change here. Um, whatever it is, I'll just make this bold instead of italics or add a bold to it. Okay, I'm going to update here. I can deselect it first, deselect that. Update, exit full screen, and then automatically click that again, and that's to update it. Okay, and now, now that we've clicked the update button again, when we move away from this blog post, I'm going to click on the home up here, you can see that we don't get that annoying little pop-up. So I'm going to click back here to the demonstration blog, scroll down a little bit. You can see we made these little changes down there. No big deal. If you like this video, please click the like button on YouTube. Leave your comments on YouTube, my blog, share with friends, family, and loved ones on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and StumbleUpon. Take care. Have a great day. And thank you so much for following my blog and videos.